watching The Tasting Channel. Up next, Jelly Beans Unexplained Encounters. Followed by Will It Mash. This is Sarah, and this summer I'm working on tasting modules for my robot noodle feet. I'm calling them the modes of taste. And basically what they're going to do is succeed in sampling or manipulating his environment in some way that you could regard as tasting. Of the four tasters of the apocalypse, I am currently working on the bean planting module. So what the bean planter is going to do is position itself over a surface that's not necessarily soil and it will core a hole two to three inches down below. Once this is done, it will drop a singular bean down inside that channel and then deliver a burst of life-giving nutrients on top of it before it pulls out and goes on its merry way. That sounded really rapey. Anyhow, the module is basically going to core, plant, and then juice on top of the thing that it just planted. So that's like three steps right there. Three different mechanical things that I have to solve and then fit inside a tiny footprint, no pun intended. I'll be trying to slim down the modules a little bit more this year. Last year they were four inches thick, they were kind of beefy, which gave me more room to play around with when I had to kind of squeeze all the active components and mechanical doodads inside. I'm gonna try and get them to three inches thick this year so they're closer to the actual size of Noodle's feet as they exist right now. In addition to the new size constraints, I'm also teaching myself a new CAD program this year. I picked Fusion 360 because it's compatible with Mac and it's parametric, so I'll be able to go back and edit things with a lot more ease than completely redesigning every part I make every time I need to make a slight modification. Say, for instance, I want to have my module that I just designed fit actual jelly beans inside of it instead of pinto beans, I can just take the measurement of a jelly bean and enter that into my CAD model and it will automatically regenerate everything without me having to manually go in and edit all of the shapes, which is super nice and saves me time in the long run. And I might actually go and do that. To tell you a little bit more about this bean planting module, right now my design involves a screw or a helix that's going to slowly carry individual beans upward in a channel. Once they reach the top, there's a slot in that helix that is going to allow the beans to drop down through the center of the foot into a little core that's going to insert itself down into the ground and kind of plant the bean. I haven't worked out how the salivation thing is going to work yet. I don't even know where it's gonna go, because again, like three by nine inches isn't a lot of space. But um, at this point in time, I have catted the helical uh, bean hopper and I'm about ready to test the mechanism and see if that one aspect of the bean planter works. If it does, then I can move on to the next hurdle, which will probably be the coring device. I started catting this in Fusion 360 last Saturday. So from then until today, which is roughly a week, I was able to model the whole thing, print it out and assemble it, and I'm just about ready to test this guy. So I'll hook up one of the bean brains and get the um, continuous rotation servo motor that's in there, uh, twisting that corkscrew bit on the inside. And um, there's these tiny little channels, like holes down at the bottom where you can insert the beans one by one. And with any luck, they'll actually feed upwards. And once they get to the top, they'll drop out the bottom through that red hole right there. So that's the plan. So I see some room for improvement. Um, I can definitely make the uh, threads of my helix slant downwards to help, you know, contain the beans a little bit better. Because right now I can't get the module to actually function in the vertical position like it's intended to, which is kind of bad. Also, I would like to make the channels that capture the beans out of acrylic or something transparent so that you can actually see them traveling upwards. Um, yeah, I think at this point I can move the entire uh, bean hopper mechanism up 
uh, in this foot assembly and make room for the coring mechanism. Uh, more work to be done, but until then, as always, thank you for watching and keep making cool stuff out there.